good morning, my fellow brothers, walking this spiritual journey with me, retaining your seed in your body, avoiding the chains of lust. Guys, it's Tuesday, August 22nd, 2023, 6.25 a.m. I want to make a video because I just had a phone conversation with my big brother who's out, uh, you know, he has his own company and he has a an employee that works for him, a young man named Jay that's 19 years old. And so I'm talking with my brother and Jay's in the car and we're on speakerphone and the topic comes up, you know, my brother said something um, not too nice, kind of perverse. And I said, Jay, cover your ears, you know, and the topic came up that Jay's a ladies man and he gets on Tinder and he hooks up with girls. And I found it quite disturbing because he's 19 years old. That's the age I was when I lost my virginity. And from then on, I was lusting after women for 51 years, guys. So it disturbed me to see another young man going down that path that I went down and how it really ruined my life. And you don't receive blessings when you're chasing women and fornicating and releasing your seed. Guys, you don't. And it just, lots of misery and you're a slave to the dark forces, guys. You're walking in darkness, you're unconscious. So it disturbed me. So I wanted to just review Proverbs 4 because this is the way, the right way to walk, not that path. Get wisdom at any cost. Listen, my sons, to a father's instruction. Pay attention and gain understanding. I give you sound learning, so do not forsake my teaching. For I too was a son to my father, still tender and cherished by my mother. Then he taught me and he said to me, take hold of my words with all your heart, keep my commands and you will live. Get wisdom, get understanding, do not forget my words or turn away from them. Do not forsake wisdom and she will protect you. Love her and she will watch over you. The beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom though it costs all you have, get understanding. I'm going to jump down to verse 10. Listen, my son, accept what I say, and the years of your life will be many. Instruct you, I instruct you in the way of wisdom and lead you along straight paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hampered. When you run, you will not stumble. Hold on to instruction. Do not let it go. Guard it well, for it is your life. Do not set foot on the path of the wicked or walk in the way of evildoers. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn from it and go on your own way, for they cannot rest until they do evil. They are robbed of sleep till they make someone stumble. They eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. The path of the righteous is like the morning sun, shining ever brighter till the full light of day. But the way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. <clears throat> See, guys, they're unconscious. They're in the dark. They don't even know it. I didn't know it. I didn't know that my lusting and pursuing pleasures of the flesh were causing me to stumble in my life and all the bad things and curses and just darkness engulfing you. Okay, let's go on to verse 20. My son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart for they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. Above all, else guard your heart for everything you do flows from it keep your mouth free of perversity keep corrupt talk far from your lips guys verse 24 it says keep your mouth free of perversity that means not swearing not using the f word and s word i've been guilty of it but i really now try not to swear it first of all it sounds really cheap and low class Secondly, it doesn't enhance your charisma when you speak crude and perverse. And God's word says don't do it either. So 
Let's go on. Verse 25. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the paths of your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the left, to the right or the left. Keep your foot from evil. Any young men out there, 19, 20, you're, you're hooking up on Tinder, you're chasing women. Keep your foot from evil. Don't go down that path. And if you have any questions or doubts, open up Proverbs 4. Read it all the time, as many times as you need to. That's it, guys. You have a good one.